Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are going right over to 5-5. Wish me luck. I forgot what the stage is actually. I'll, I'll know. Oh, okay, I remember. I was gonna say, I'll know what it is when I see it. It's this Manta Ray one here. This one had me quite baffled for a while where the last star coin was in it. And I have a feeling that isn't gonna change very much <laughs> with knowing my memory. So I'm just gonna check all the clouds as I go and hope that I get a propeller mushroom or something. Um, I guess an ice flower will work for me. Oh, and there's bullet bills. There's, I see star coin number one right there in the middle of. Ooh! Propeller block will work for me. Let me up. Let me. There we go. I just barely got it. And there's number one. I'm gonna try and keep this block for the whole level. It'll definitely, definitely come in handy in this piece, which is now riding on this manta ray's back. And. Is that something that I wanted to do? I don't know. I hope it was. I'm going to attempt to get all the coins in time. Oh, I got them all! And the round of applause goes to PK Gam by the imaginary audience in my mind. Well, actually, that was in the game. <laughs> anyway, there's a... Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 How do I get down there? I... Uh -huh? I forgot how to get down there. I, don't I really don't remember. Anyway, I should probably check these things. You know, the coins or whatever is behind those clouds over there. I hope that wasn't important. I'm, I'm going to assume it wasn't important, at least for now. Uh, I'm gonna try and blow away those clouds down there. Yeah! Nothing in there, okay. Just wanted to make sure. And propeller mushroom for the win! I'm definitely gonna take that in place of my ice flower. And I'm gonna try avoiding all hits as well as power up for the rest of the stage, just for the sake of uh, trying to get all the coins in the area. So that's coin number two, evidently. Oh, I bet you coin number three is inside that mess of clouds. No? Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Just wanted to check that. It's probably in that little bit of clouds that I left over on the left side, knowing my luck. <laughs> so, let's just keep that in mind in case I have to come back here. And, hmm. Okay, what am I missing here? I bet you it was in there. I bet you it was. Unless it was somewhere else. Let me just, like, yeah! Uh, I didn't think so, I just wanted to clear out some clouds over there to check the area, and I'm gonna hope I didn't miss anything, I hope it's just hidden by something. Oh, I remember now, okay, it's it's not in here, it's down there, there's a, another platform you want to spin just to clear out, what, 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 there's a, hmm, I thought there was a, another, hmm, okay, I'm definitely missing the last coin somewhere. <sighs> Maybe I needed that plop pow block from that other area. I don't know, but uh, I'll be back in here in just a second. So I'm sure you can wait through a little cut. Well, there's the pow block. I still have no idea how to get down there, though. Unless that's just for show or something, I don't know. I'm hoping that I'm not missing anything, but oh, maybe it's just to get these coins that are up here, off screen? Maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna assume and hope that that's the case, so let's just uh, continue to clear out these clouds here, just to kind of check through the area, make sure I didn't miss anything, I don't really need that second propeller mushroom there, obviously. I still haven't taken a hit since I... Uh, uh, left the stage the last time. Oh, and that's coin number two. So that means coin number three has to be somewhere after this point here. So I'm just gonna clear out that. Nothing there. Anything up here? Oh, power block! Power block! Why didn't I see that before? Uh, gotta grab that. Gotta throw it. Where does it go? Where? I I think I missed it somewhere. I I think it was towards the right side there. I think it was like somewhere around here. So let's try this again. Alright, I got the POW block and there's a bunch of uh, stingrays coming here at the same time, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Yeah, baby! 
that was the last coin I needed, and let's go through the pipe and leave. Come on, come on, go, go, there we go. Off-screen pipes for the win. Or at least it looked off-screen on my side. I don't know if it will in yours and in the editing, but that's the end of the stage. Finally. No wonder it took me a while to find that coin before. I completely missed out on that Pell block before because those clouds are in the way. So it's a good thing that I remembered to clear out the clouds this time and not reminding me of where the coin was. Alright, now I have a split path. Well, actually, I can only take one path here. I have to go... Well, yeah, I guess I still have a split path. I was going to say I could either go down into the piranha plant down south or north over there, but I'm going to take on both piranha plants here. So, you know, just to show them off. And 5 dash toad. Wait, this one looks extremely familiar. <laughs> if not exactly the uh, exactly the same as it was before, and maybe not, I don't know. But that's it. Got three more mushrooms to add to the other 90 that I have. I have no idea what the heck I have. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that one. And then there's that other prana plant up there, which I'll hope yep, I was gonna say hopefully bump into. And here we go, five dash toad again. <laughs> and this is a different formation. Looks a bit easier than the other one because it's not so, you know, corroded with piranha plants as the other one was. And there we go, safe and sound. I rescued yet another toad, but I'm afraid the princess is in another chest. So it's time to go to the castle. Here we go. I'm so excited! I love this music so much! All the music in this game is really awesome. Some is really catchy, some is epic like this one. Ah, the catchy, catchiest one is probably actually the uh, forest music. The one that, you know, the world that I was just playing through. Or at least in my opinion it is. It's it just like... Or something like that. I don't know, at least that's what I think. Maybe it's because the other ones are very, very similar to the DS one and, you know, very used to that kind of thing. I don't know, well, maybe... Well, I'm trying to think, was the forest one in the DS New Super Mario Bros? I don't know. Uh, if you don't have a propeller suit, you have to do one of these things to get the coin. Otherwise, if you do, you can just spin your way after, you know, spin out of there collecting the coin. There's a secret up here. This, I believe, leads to the next coin, if not just the secret in general. Oh, it does lead to the next coin. There's a load of Poto Boos here. I'm going to let them go, and there we go. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, that was a close one. And, okay, that's coin number two. Coin number three is coming up later, obviously. And... For now, I'm just gonna climb on these rotating fences. Why are these here? I have no idea. They don't seem very productive to the castle, and they also seem to help Mario out quite a lot. And you would think that a Koopa Kid or Bowser wouldn't put such things, you know, that help Mario out. I mean, you know, they're enemies and all, so you would think they would think more strategically, but no, no, they, they wouldn't do that. <sighs> Why must I always question the logic? Wait, no, wait, I'm not questioning the logic. I don't want the universe to implode. That might be quite bad. So let's just say that uh, they placed it there because they needed, like, to use the lava flow for electricity or something like that. Even though it doesn't seem to use electricity, it just seems to use, like, fire and stuff like that to light the way, and I don't want to lose my propeller suit. And I'm also questioning the game logic, and I shouldn't be doing that. And I'm also talking kind of fast. But anyway, that's all three coins, and I want stuff! What's in here? Uh, another propeller mushroom, that's not really something that I need. Oh, these are bouncy blocks, they're kind of like the note blocks from Super Mario World and Super Mario Brothers 3. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce, 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 Yeah, you get the idea. They give you a little boost. <laughs> and here we go. The boss, Boingy. Chain Chomp? Giant Chain Chomp, no! This boss is actually really easy. All you have to do is jump on his head. And uh, then those Chomp will reverse direction. You just, have, you just have to go around in that direction to avoid the Chomp. 
and uh, he also shoots his magic balls at you and stuff like that. No problem with dodge whatsoever. And I was gonna reverse direction. No problem again. If you ever get like trapped up there and get in trouble, just use the, just use the donut blocks to escape. And uh, that's it. <laughs> that was overly easy. And there's the key. That's the end of World 4. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part as well. So, as soon as the ending cutscene for World... Wait, did I say World 4? World 5, this is. Anyway, as soon as the ending cutscene for World 5 is done, I'll see you in the next part. Well, whenever I upload it and, you know, make it, edit, whatever. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then. Uh, this is taking a little longer than expected for my outro here. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. World 5 is 100%ed. Awesome sauce. And World 6. Ooh, on top of Choco Mountain. At least it seems like Choco Mountain. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's all. Again, as I said, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part. Toodaloo!